Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be taking this beat up old Matchbox Super Cooper from the 70s and I'm going to be giving it a post-apocalyptic custom makeover. Matchbox produced these little cars from 1973 until 1976. Taking a closer look at our little example, you can see that windscreen is pretty ruined. Scuffed old paint job and some lumps of gunk on it. Back wheels are bent, the axle's bent. Anyway, well play worn, bit of a mess. So I'll start drilling out the posts. I made three colours of this car. There's a blue one, and then a pink one, and then a red one. I'm assuming it's not based on a, a real car, just some 70s matchbox designers, flight of fancy. So there it is taken apart. Grubby interior there. The body casting, and you can see the windscreen's totally wrecked. I use some paint stripper to remove that old worn out paint off of the casting. There it is all peeling away. Here it is after I've washed it off. Still need to clean up with the wire brush. But so does the space here, and that was unpainted, so I'm just going to pop the wheels out of the suspension there. Now I can give them both a clean up with the wire brush. Need to try and keep my camera strap out of the way while I'm filming. Here we go, I'll do the base as well. And here's the nice clean body casting. Now I can start to do some fabrication. I'm going to start out with this plastic tractor body. I actually used the tank that was on the trailer this toy was towing around for my recent post-apocalyptic gasoline tanker build. So I've cut off the front wheel covers, mud guards, and here's the front wheels as well. I'm going to be using those. So I've glued the front mud guards onto the rear of my Super Cooper. There's enough room there to put these front wheels off of the tractor onto it. So I'm going to need something to put the axles into. So I glued a axle casing in on the rear of the base of the Super Cooper. And now I can pop the top on. And I've got big ridiculous rear wheels and mud guards. Next I added a little bit more fabrication, some chains to hold the mud guards up and just some basic spikes on there, good old spikes. And I've also got this little skull, it's made out of modelling clay, it's like Fimo, bake in the oven, so that can go on that spike there. Next I'm going to use some hot water and caustic soda to remove the gunk and the chrome off of the little motor from the rear of the car. There it goes after a clean up. And of course remember not to touch the caustic solution because it'll burn you. Then I just stuck some extra long pipes onto the motor there at the back. Angled them upwards a little bit. So now I can start with some painting. I start out painting the body with 
black primer and then silver. It's giving me a nice base to work on. So next I'm going to add some rust. I used Vallejo Orange Rust and then lightly sprayed some German Red Brown over the top of it. So quite a light toned rust layer. Next I sprayed over the top of that with some light blue. See I've avoided the wheel arches. Use some sandpaper to sand back the blue paint a bit and reveal some more of the rust. Giving it a nice heavily chipped appearance. And then I use a sponge and some orange and German red brown just to apply a little bit more rust here and there. I use a sponge again to add some green chipped paint onto the mud guards. And then I use some silver paint and a bit more rust and sponge to do the spikes and the chains. Next I'm going to apply just a light black wash over those parts. So not over the body, just over the chains and the spikes. I also painted the skull with some skeleton bone gaming paint that I had and then put a wash over that as well. You can see I've stuck it on that spike there. Next I've got this little Snoopy that came off of a Hot Wheels Snoopy house mobile thing. So I've given him a bit of a post-apocalyptic makeover. And I'm going to stick him onto the roof of my crazy little post-apocalyptic Super Cooper. The engine was given a fresh coat of silver and then a black wash. And after that had dried I also touched up the ends of the pipes with some metallic blue weathering powder. Then I sealed all of that with a squirt of clear. Here is the interior after I'd given it a jolly good wash. This was hit with some white primer. I actually did the underneath in black primer as well. And then I just hand painted it. Some detailing, some nice cushy purple seats and a brown dash. Moving on to the rear wheels, these were given a coat of black. And then I detailed in the rims in silver, and then they got a coat of black wash. And then again, some rust colors applied with a sponge. Then I used a worn out old brush to add some red and white paint that I'd sort of roughly mixed together so they look like they might have been painted red at some point and then it all mostly chipped off and finally I finished them with a little bit of dust weathering powder just over the outside of the tread so they don't look too clean and again these were sealed with some matte clear definitely need to seal anything that you're using powders on. So for the front wheels I tried quite a few different ideas and when I stuck them outside the body of the car they tended to just make it look too short. So I've just used these 
cool Hot Wheels wheels they seem to fit well and they look good and the base was given some black primer and then Vallejo rust texture and there I've just detailed the grill okay so here's all the parts of our crazy little post-apocalyptic matchbox super cooper roughed up and ready to go back together so let's just take a very quick look back at what we started with here it is our scruffy looking super cooper all the way from the 70s looking at jolly mess there broken windscreen bent axle rough paint which is probably about the state they'd find it before they turn it into this post-apocalyptic machine so here it is our finished matchbox super cooper given a jolly rusty old post-apocalyptic style makeover massive big rear tractor wheels on it the interiors have been all detailed there got some spikes on it a skull and of course post-apocalyptic looking Snoopy stuck on the roof maybe they found him somewhere outside a destroyed amusement park or a shop or something they thought they'd stick him on their car let me know what you think of it in the comments down below massive shout out to my awesome patreons check out the links below if you want to help out as well or get some money off some super glue like share subscribe and thanks heaps for watching i'll catch you on the next one